and you go crazy. And from then until now, which has been roughly a whole decade, right? Because mm -hmm. what we're talking about right now is 2012, you know? Uh, yeah. Tell us some challenges that you face in the, in the industry. So a lot of challenges I face, like, like, a, like a normal pretty girl, like just, it was a lot of niggas like, coming on to me or like just just trying to work with me but still mess with me at the same time like that was a big thing like can you imagine like you being serious about something and these guys just basically on some you know we got you gotta and it's it's like pressure with me because i'm a sweet person like i'm i'm really a sweet person like i people like for someone not to know me, they'll, they'll look at me like, oh, she's friendly or she's like easy to, you know, to snatch up. But now, like, I'm, I'm just a sweet person, but I'm, my man is there. Like, I'm not stupid or none of that, you yeah. know. But just dealing with that, like having to run across people, like trying to hit on me and stuff like that, that probably was the only, only challenge that I ever had to deal with. But I'm so glad that I got out of that. And yeah. I still go through that stuff today. Like, it's just, I, I taught myself that it's going to happen regardless. Like, I'm not going to get ugly. Like, niggas like me. Everybody loves Sasha. Yeah. <laughs> I know that is, that that part is a big challenge for a lot of women in the yes. male-dominated industry. Yes. Um, so how do you stray away from like men that have ulterior motives versus like being able to decipher who's really you know genuine yeah uh with me you could you could feel it like i i feed off uh spirits like so i know when someone is genuine and even when i feel like that i i know that someone is genuine like because somebody could come around me today and just don't be on no type of extra stuff with me and i'll be like he cool like he, he cool he ain't no no with me but it's always gonna be like that that like niggas can't control themselves you know like but i just i be ignoring people like i'm so strong mentally in the uh in the music industry now like that i got it in my man like man look if you on that i'm gonna keep going like i i get in the door somehow like but i'm not getting in the door that having sex or doing nothing with a nigga, like just to put me on or help me get that type stuff. Mm -hmm. So I just ignore him, keep going, keep it moving. Right. Now in the midst of your of your rap career, you have became a mother. Yeah. Can you tell us how uh, motherhood has affected your career? So I don't feel like that motherhood affected my career. Other people might feel like that, but that's them. Um, my daughter, a blessing, the best thing that ever happened to me. Like, I can't picture life without her, like, for real. Um, <clears throat> I was just telling my friend, like, even when I got pregnant, I was still performing, like, still performing, still making music. Before I had her, after I had her, and, and Sam on, like, I just, I don't feel like that if it affected my career, because I never stopped. Like, I've been consistent for, Damn near 11 years. Like, I haven't worked a job in 11 years. I haven't, like, music is, like, in my blood now. Like, it's, like, my heart. So right. it's just there. Yeah. And nothing could stop me but me. Like, that's, that's really how my man set up. Like, nothing literally can get in my way but me. I'm the only person that could, you know, um, get in the way from my success. For sure. Right. You know, last year, um, it was a lot of talk about uh, the queen of Chicago. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> uh, you know, we don't have that many young ladies representing us in hip hop, but we got several. Uh, Sasha Go Hard, Katie Got Bands, Queen Key, Tink Dreezy. Mm -hmm. uh, what are your thoughts on the whole topic of queen of Chicago? Um, I really didn't like when the girls was like, no, I'm the queen. I'm the queen. I'm the queen. Nah, I'm the queen. Like, we don't have to do that. Like, we all, like, for one, we all queens. You feel me? Like, it's no, like, first lady of Chicago. Ain't nobody leading the pack. Everybody strong doing their own thing type stuff. You know, like, but if we talking about queen of drill, 
I always, and I say this, like, on interviews, anything, like Katie, like Katie because she started making that drill music and that's been like her type of like lane. Like she never changed like the type of music she make. You know, like it's just like, that's what she's known for, dr like drilling. So yeah, like, I mean, when we, when we say queen of drill, I will get that to Katie. Like everybody, anybody who real, gonna say that's Katie. Like nobody else started and still like after all these years, like still making that type of music. Even though like she did the song with Nicki Minaj, like you know like, but she's still like a drill artist. But like far as like the Queen of Chicago, I I I don't even like feed into that shit. <laughs> like for real, like I'm not finna argue or get into it with nobody over no damn title. Like, everybody entitled to feel how they want to feel. You know, say what you want to say about yourself. But far as, like, arguing with people, like, no, you finna give me this title. I'm the queen of Chicago. Like, that shit lame. High school. Yeah. Well, how do you feel about yourself, your brand, your rap name mm -hmm. amongst the ladies of Chicago? Um. <clears throat> what credit do you give yourself is what I'm asking. Man, like Sasha, go hard, consistent, been consistent, been doing my thing no matter what, like stood 10 toes, like through all the bullshit, like for real, like, I mean, I'm just, I'm just me. I'm, I'm, I don't try to be nothing else, like other than myself, like I'm a good person, uh, I'm a happy person, I don't do drama, none of that shit, like I'm not gonna be arguing with nobody if it ain't about no money. Like that shit is irrelevant to me. Like, I'm just a, I'm, I'm, I'm a good spirit. Like, I have a good bubble around me. Not, not saying that the other girls don't. I don't even pay attention to them enough, or I don't have time to even to worry about what the other girls, what they got going on. But like, when it comes down to positivity, like getting money, like let's let's link up, let's do what we gotta do, like, cause it's possible. So. Right. Now we've um, heard you on quite a few soundtracks lately. Uh, on HBO, Southside Joint. Yeah. Uh, they say you on the Insecure soundtrack as well. Yes. Okay. And, and, and you've been working with Showtime and the Shot. Yes. Okay. Well, catch us. T tell us what's been going on. So the Insecure um, soundtrack uh, it came out a few years ago. It was the Golden Pussy song that they um, had used. Like, I made the song. They hit me up, you know, said they need a song, you know, and then I sent it to them, then they got it. So that, the Southside um, song is my theme song. Like, uh, well, my song is the theme song for the show, right. the Southside. That's on HBO Max. Make sure y'all go watch it. Yeah, I um, I just filmed for the Shy, so y'all catch me on the shot, acting. Hold on, don't play with me. Okay. Congrats <laughs> on that. Yes. So, so you. you're going into the big screen roles. Yeah, I mean, but you know, like, I, I, I've been doing a lot of stuff. Like, I don't, I don't understand, and it's not no complaint or none of that. Like, I don't know how people don't be knowing type certain stuff. Like, I don't know what it is that I need to do, or I don't know. But I've been doing a lot of stuff. Like, I'm. Chirac with Spike Lee. And you know what's funny? I never had to audition. They never made me audition for nothing. I didn't mm. know I was, if I was a bad rapper, I mean, a bad actor. Mm. <laughs> but, I mean. The, they knew the, they wanted Sasha to go hard on that. Exactly. They didn't even care. And it's because, like, they see and feel that, oh, she's talented. She's a good person. She, she's going to deliver all that matter. So, so we're going to see you acting on the new season of The Shy? Yes. Tell us how that opportunity came about. I mean, I'm an independent artist. Like, I handle all my shit. Like, I ain't never signed a deal. I just be having to say that because, like, it's not even, it, it's really because to myself. Like, I be having to remind myself that, look, you the shit. Like, you, you killing shit. Like, without a deal. Like, without having to screw these niggas. Like, you know, like, this is, this is stuff that I say. And people might take it like that. Um being cocky or whatever. But no, like, this is me just reminding myself that I'm the shit. But um, the shy, they just hit me up. Like, Sasha, like, 
you know, we need you for this, for, for the shot. Like, are you available these days? And it just went on from there. And it, they made it happen. DJ, you go crazy!